Michigan versus Miami. Haven't used Michigan yet. We'll see how they are on this game. We do have a full Oregon offensive ebook, and that Oregon offensive ebook is compatible with the Michigan playbooks. So when we're showing you some Bunch Strong today, I still think Bunch Strong probably the most effective offense. And the cool part about this formation is they do have this Bunch X nasty, which is very, very good as well. So we might be updating our little Bunch ebook with that. We're just going to get right into the ball. We're just going to come out here and ball, run some dagger. I wanted to run this play. Uh, love this play. Again, if you want to get access to all the ebooks, they are linked over on the school website. And I want to talk today about reading the defense. So I uh, want to kind of talk a little bit about this. This is something that I think is super important no matter what year of Madden, what year of college football you are playing. You need to be able to consistently read the defense and be able to make the right choice. Now, this is also going to be more difficult now because of the switch stick feature. So what we're doing here is we're trying to be quick with our reads. We're going to peek this fade, then we're going to look to this crosser over the middle. If that's not open, we're going to look to that deep crosser, and then we're going to look to that shallow crosser. And then lastly, we are going to be looking to that backside in route. So kind of perfecting the progressions and the read, pro the read progressions on a play is really one of the biggest things that I can tell you about passing in general. You have to be able to protect or you have to be able to perfect the read progressions. So, for example, on this play, corner strike, one of my favorite plays in the game, we have a high-low read here to the right side, and we're really looking for this corner route on the right side. Here we are able to get this open, but my quarterback throws the ball into Kansas. <laughs> And, uh, and that is what it is. All right, let's go red zone PA corner. We'll have that in the audibles. The cool part about this bunch strong formation is it's one of my favorite things about this formation is it's a, just a very simple offense. Like it, it's so simple to run this offense, and this offense is so effective. Whether they're blitzing you, whether they're not, this offense just has all the tools you need uh, to be able to consistently work. There we go, a little Morris on the drag. Love that route combo. And again, the cool part is, like I said, with these reads, I'm trying to make these decisions super quickly. So I'm going to try to like show you a dagger here on this next play. So I'm looking at this fade. If that fade is not open, I'm quickly getting to that deep crosser and then that shallow crosser and then that backside dig. So fade, I see he's covered. Okay, I'm right to that crosser. I see the user there. So I'm automatically already onto the drag. So you see that was just very, very quick and very precise in terms of how that works. Now, I think dagger is probably one of the easiest plays to do this with consistently, whereas plays like flood, for example, I do think it's a little bit more difficult because, again, you got to kind of identify what is your actual progressions here. So you see here, I want to look to this drag early, not open. I'm going to look at these corners, not really there. So then we just got to step up and take what the defense gives us. Now we're going to go to corner strike. I love corner strike. I think corner strike is just very consistent for me. Just always, pretty much always open. Uh, but I'm going to run a different setup here. And so essentially I have a streak. Peek that, not open. I have that corner route that looks a little bit open. The corner actually played that really well. I have not seen that get played that well in this game. Let me go to, I'm actually going to go back to corner strike here. But again, it's just idea of timing your reads with when your routes will be open simultaneously getting off of like covered routes quickly. And there you see that time the corner routes open and we're able to deliver the ball quickly. Again, one of the biggest principles that I can give you about read progressions in college football and in Madden is have a plan pre-snap of what you're actually reading and try to put defenders in conflict with your combos. Because typically there's only one or two defenders that are actually in conflict. So you see here, I'm really trying to look to hit this slant. We'll just try to trust. It's more of a trust throw. I actually dropped it. I thought I was going to catch that, honestly. All right. I don't know how good Michigan's defense is. I will be pausing to try to look at their defense. I'm not too concerned with the offense because we do have the best bunch, or at least because the Michigan bunch and the Oregon bunch are not that much different, honestly. But let's take a look here at the depth chart. We will go ahead and auto reorder, make sure Donovan Edwards is at the back, and take a look at these wide receivers. So we do have takeoff here. Takeoff is super good. I really like this Presto, but he's only 85 speed. We got cutter on this guy, Loveland, Colston Loveland. Gooding. You know what's crazy is 
this um, this wide receiver. I'm pretty sure it's this dude. It says Gooding, Alabama. It's actually Gooding, Idaho. Like, seriously. Okay, we totally did not look at our defense. So we have actually some cool plays. We have 3-3 stack, 3-3 double mug. This is kind of a cool little playbook. I'm going to probably run some 3-3 stack this game. I don't know what's up with this camera angle. Like, actually. And I can't change it. There we go. All right, just going to run standard basic man coverage. We're going to shade outside. Reason you shade your man coverage outside this year is because a lot of the best man beating routes are outbreaking. And also, it's going to funnel everything over the middle of the field to your user, which obviously is a significant advantage. I'm going to pause it again. We're going to take a look at this depth chart on the defensive side and just see if we have any good, any good pass rushers. We have no good pass rushers <laughs> at that position. Let's take a look at linebacker. Do we have anyone? We have literally none. Zero good pass rushers. So this team is terrible. But we do have Big Will Johnson. So basically there's really nothing. I mean, you're just, you're just going to have to ball. You're just going to have to get out here. I think, honestly, with this team, you can actually run this cover four drop, just, just shade down. We're just going to call it good. We're just going to try to stop the run, play a little bit, but don't break. I love these. Uh, this, this Hurricane Stadium is – Pretty bad. <laughs> Pretty bad stadium, not going to lie. All right, we're going to go 3-3 three, three stack. Let's see if we go cover two shell. Let's just see how that looks. I like that better. And go 3-3 three, three stack, cover two shell. Really just trying to stop the run and make him have to pass. Make him have to pass. Rolder early. Oh, get out of there, Rolder. So the reason I know that that tight end from Michigan is from Gooding, Idaho, is because it's actually like literally like 30 minutes from my house, which is kind of crazy that this guy grew up where I now live. All right, we're going to go back to that post, see if we can't hit this. I wonder if I – the cool part about these RPOs, a lot of people don't know this, you can stem these posts typically down a little more than that, though. And we'll just throw it. Just trust it. I'm telling you, just trust the post. You trust the post. You trust the post. Sometimes the post does take away, but almost every time that I throw this post, it is wide open. This RPO duo post. And if you could stem this down, it'd be even better. I don't know why I can't stem this down, but it's a sharp cut. So we're going to wait to the last possible second. Dot. Perfect. There it is. RPO duo post. Love that route. Love that route. Now, again, as you get a little bit more advanced with that route, there is... Like, basically what you would read, like, in a real – if it was a little bit more advanced game in terms of, like, if they were really using it or something, you would ultimately read the user. If the user sat down on the run or tried to shoot the run, then you would throw the, the other route. All right, I'm going to try some mid-blitz with Michigan. I bet you mid-blitz might go crazy with this team. Got more here because they are a good man coverage team. Oh, no, we're running, we're running jet touch pass. I was not in position. I was not in position. I was not in position. I just lost. Catch him. Catch him. Catch him. Very good. All right. We might need to do something a little different for this. I'm going to put sub. So because we don't have any good players on defense, I'm putting safeties here. I want linebackers out here like my best cover guys, basically. And then I want my dogs, my pass rushing dogs. I want them in here. All we're going to do is slant line inside. And basically, I want to use her this nickel corner. This is who I want to use her. Johnson, my number one player. I need, to, I need to actually move him out of the spot, though. Put him on the outside. We're going to shade out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're screaming. We're screaming. People ask me what's the best defense in cut. Double mug. Ebook is on the school page. Ebook is on the school page, boys. All right. We got Cameron here. We want Johnson here. We'll put we'll put this guy Mangum. We'll put Mangum in here. This is what I want right here. This is the Oh yeah. Oh no. Shouldn't have shaded up. Dang it. So the reason you shade outside is because he's gonna run a slant and then you're gonna pick it off. I also forgot to press. I do want to press. Do I have a pause? I don't have a pause. Lost. But, again, the cool part is all this stuff is on the school community. So the school community is only 10 bucks, 
and it gets you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks for both College Football 25 and Madden 25. So everything you need to win on both games, you unlock by being a member. And the cool part is we're doing a lot more than just ebooks over there. We're doing pro tips. We're doing lab sessions. We're doing uh, we're actually doing film reviews for people. So if you want to get your tape reviewed and uh, just kind of get like basically some tips and tricks of like what I see in your actual game, I guess the best way to get better, in my opinion, is to actually watch and see where you're messing up. So you can check all that out uh, at the school community school. It's only ten bucks, so super super uh, ex- in- inexpensive. Well, that run did not work very well. Let's try this pin and pull toss. I, d- if you're if you're in Michigan though, you got to be giving the rock to Donovan, big Donovan Edwards. This dude is probably at least one of the he's probably one of the top five running backs in the game. Number one is definitely the Ohio State running back. And then number two is probably, I don't know who you put at number two, probably the K-State, Dylan Edwards, which is kind of crazy that he's number two. All right, we're just going to rock. Corner routes open. Good read. Spin. Juke. Break tackle, break tackle, break tackle one more time. (laughs) It's in the game, baby. Alex Orgy. So the thing is, Michigan has actually got a really good – like, I think Michigan's offense is better than Oregon's. Low-key, Oregon's defense is probably better than Michigan's, which is kind of sad because Oregon's defense is not very good. But the one thing that Michigan does have is they – like, the one thing that Michigan does have going for them is they have, like, like a really good playbook. I'm telling you, you trust this post. You trust this post. This RPO duo post, a lot of people are sleeping on it. So we have that fade. It's basically the progression here. I'm actually going to slide because he could send some pressure. This is my 6-1 pass, bro. Full slide left. Blocked that way. That was bad. That was bad. That's what you don't want to do. Throw right at somebody. He actually lurked me pretty good there, to be honest. I totally thought he was going down to the drag, and I just kind of locked in on that. I'm going to play flood. I actually really think that this route combo – could actually be really good. This, like, slant out and flat. And the reason why is because, like, the slant out corner is really good against man. And it just gets into, like, this soft spot. All right. All right. We trusted the post. Eventually, he's going to use the post. And basically, what you want to do when he uses the post is you want to run the ball. So, I'm reading here. Yeah, he see how he's using the post? That did not work. Shoot. I lost. I probably could have thrown the post, to be honest. Let's clip that. Take a look at the. Take a look at that. In replay after we kick this off, we're going to just trust the special teams unit. I know that's kind of crazy to say, but we're just going to trust the special team unit. Well, look at this post. So he's using in here. Honestly, yeah, it's just good defense at the end of the day. He's really stopping the duo run. Normally that duo runs a little bit more free than that. All right, here we go. Let's play some good defense now. So what I want to be able to do is man these linebackers up onto like running back tight end type thing. So we're going to do this. Oh, yeah, we're screaming. See, that's what I'm saying, boys. This is also the benefit of double mug. So with double mug, what you can do is you can sub in safeties as your interior rushers. And so they do stuff like that for you. I'm going to back off on that outside. But watch this scream. This is a four-man We'll see if it screams. You kind of just disengage. Very nice. Good D. I stripped that from my user. Yeah, I see that Michigan might be my team, man. I I kind of like how Michigan's playing. Bama's, I mean, for Road to College Football Playoff, Bama's probably the best team just because they have the quick jumps. But low key, like, you don't have to have quick jumps when running mid blitz. But Oregon or uh, but Michigan has a better off, like not better offense than Bama, but better offensive playbook. And I personally really value the playbook aspect. Got him in a delay here. So what I probably do is go cover zero shell, go nickel dog buzz, and then basically we're just gonna send six. Now I do have a shoot for this jet touch pass. I did not stand in the right spot though. But what's all right? We'll tackle. We'll call timeout. Hopefully he punts us the rock. Return middle. Can we get it done, boys? 
Should definitely put Diamond Edwards at kick returner because Diamond Edwards is him on this game. He's super good. Got Stewart back there, though. Stewart might be able to get the job done. 42 seconds. Get that back in that bunch strong. I'm going to hit him with the post early. I'm going to hit him with that, I'm with that RPO post. I love this play. I think this play is really cool. So we're reading the mic, basically. See how they kind of sat back like that? Then we just run the ball. Then we just run the ball. Very good. All right, here, I think I'm going to go corner strike. And we're going to go with a streak. Looking for the running back, actually, here. Not really there. We're going to step up with the orgy, spin out. So this cool part about this orgy, dude, is he's kind of like – he's like not the best quarterback – but he's pretty good. He he's fast. I want this. I want this backside. I really like this route combo. Like a super deep in route. If you have time, this is a really good combo. Especially against man. I don't have time though. I just got absolutely sacked. Well, that's not good. Got super jammed. Everything got super muddied up right there. So now we're going to go to Flood. I think what you can do here is stem this corner. We're looking for the tight end. Really. Have the tight end. That's my guy from Gooding. Loveland. Loveland. Very good, buddy. Very good. All right, so it's 26-7. Looking for the post. I'm going to motion this guy over. You trust that post. I actually caught it. I'm getting kind of rerouted. I'm not going to lie. He's actually doing decent defense on the post. I probably should run more man-beating stuff down there just by the way he's calling his defense. The cool part about that post is they basically have to pass commit to stop it if they're going to put a zones, put zones out there, or they have to get a really good press, which is what he's getting. He's probably got some ability out there that's allowing that to happen. So, that's kind of what's going on. Go mid-blitz. I actually like – the thing with Michigan is I think they can play some man because they got Will Johnson. All right, this guy's manned up here. Uh-oh. I might get dotted here. Let's try it. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I messed up. Messed up, messed up, messed up. Blitz did not come in. Big Will did not make the play that we needed him to make. And we just gave up a huge play for no reason. I'm going to go back to zone here. Nickel Dog 3, buzz. Yeah, we just got kind of in a caught in a bad defense. I don't have any timeouts left. All right, I'm trying to think what I'm going to lurk here. I think I'm going to go over here. Oh, yeah, we're humming. We're humming, boys. That's what I'm saying, man. That's a four-man. That's a four-man. Like, that's crazy good heat. And that's because you can put those 90-speed safeties there. Like, all you need is speed for this blitz. You don't have to have, like, you don't have to have a quick jump. Every other defense in this game, though, you pretty much have to. Okay. I need to deep half there. This is fine. Switch stick. Got that. Very good. I'll take us to have. That's a pretty decent first half performance. Big the Michigan Wolverines out here just bagging. I will be saying, or I, I am, I am intrigued that I've not been getting the ball at half very much. Been been receiving a lot in this mode. All right. 26-7. Let's D up again. Nickel double mug. Probably going to play more zone the second half. I don't even know who to use her here. A little run play. Oh, good juke. Good juke. Good juke. Good juke. Good juke. It's really hard to see on this field. I'm not going to lie. These, like, shadows really mess with my eyes. Let's get back in mid-blitz. I'd just rather adjust out of this, honestly. 
because I can play. I feel like this team can actually play some man, like better than most teams. They're not like faster, but I feel like they're just like the better. Actually, I have a pause, so let's take a look at the depth chart one more time, and let's actually look at these corners. So these are the players that we want to man. So we have Will. Will Johnson is is super good. You have McBurrows. 94 speed's not terrible. Uh, this is the pretty much all you have. Oh, this dude Jones has quick jump. Oh, this dude Grant. Or what? what's his name? Ma Mac McMadson and Jones. Dude, I don't – I guess I could play like uh, – Dude, we got to try this out. So we have quick jump on our slots. What's that guy? Mc, Mc, shoot, I don't know his name. McMadson and Jones. Let's try this with this team. This might be the new way to use this team. They have this quick jump ability. Quick jump's so good, too. Let's just see if the blitz screams. Let's see if these slot corners... I don't really care about the coverage. I just want the bliss to come in. Oh, yeah, we're humming. Oh, yeah, we're humming. We're humming. Give me the ball. Perfect. Dude, Michigan might be the team. Two slot corners with quick jump, the best playbook in the game, or one of the best playbooks in the game. Check out Michigan, boys. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And check out the ebooks. Links are in the description. Join the school community for just 10 bucks.